Neil Small is a proud owner of some Indian pottery. Some are from um, some of the southern states, like in Arizona, uh, Oklahoma. Um, some of these are, they will carry ashes in some of these. Um, this one here, they're handmade pottery. Right there, this one. This is one of my favorites too. Very colorful. And these are mm -hmm. these are wedding vases, Native American uh, pottery. That they're called wedding vases, pottery. And uh, I guess they had a ritual. There's two a spot here and uh, one on this side, just like with some of the other kinds. And a spouse would drink out of one side and the spouse would drink out of the other side. <laughs> um, there's three kinds here. This one, a little bit smaller, the same. This one's a really tiny one. See? They're all handmade. Um, and the little one? Who the little one, um, I think this is no, actually not that. This, uh, one. this one. This one, I'm gonna forget what this one was used for. I don't remember exactly. This song is very pretty though. <laughs> American Indian Museum in Washington. Once upon a time, Indians were the Americans. Soon after Europeans arrived, they called the New World America. And they called the original inhabitants Americans, not American Indians, not Native Americans, just Americans. people. Everyone belongs to one of these two groups, but there's no dividing line, just a sense. Because all of us, whether we are winter or summer people, are seeking a good life. Medicines, berries, and plants. 
Finally, the man headed north. We saw strange mountains and trees. The caribou taught him how to use their skins to stay warm. There, he met a bear who taught him how to fish. The journey to all the directions took his whole life. But now, finally, he saw how everything fit together and how his people could survive based on the lessons from nature. He learned the importance of working together. The man, now old and weak, struggled to get home to help. Prior to adulthood, the children start receiving more responsibility, as in any other community. In the traditional sense, they take on more responsibilities in the preparing for the festivities that take place in the ceremonies and in the feast itself. After I graduated from high school, even though I graduated valedictorian from my class, I had no real desire to go to school. My father picked me up. He took me to Highlands University over here in Las Vegas. And he put my bags outside. And he says, you can go to college. And that's when I became I knew that I had to make decisions that affected my life, so I stayed. Very strongly of uh, the stories that I've heard in my childhood. And uh, some of the symbols that they're talking about are symbols that are used probably all over the place. A strong feeling that I get is that there, there must be so much common between the American Indians and Indian Indians. Indi yeah, yeah. Well, there is uh, so much, so much uh, of what I have heard in my own childhood, in my village. It's as if I am reading a repeat of all of that recorded here. The impression I get is that there is so much, so much common in the beliefs of old times in India itself and here and I'm talking about my own childhood which would be 70-75 years The men's house was the foundation of everything. It was the place of worship because there were no churches. It was a spiritual center belonging to the people like the churches of today. Our people revered and honored life through customs and traditions, a lifestyle similar to Christianity. Our people believed in loyalty and respecting each other. The elders held a position of authority and taught the people about what is wrong and what is right. For Indian people, land was the foundation of their existence as nations. It shaped their identity, spiritual practices and cultures.
tribes had national territories they defended from invaders and individual families owned rights to particular places but indians did not have the deeds titles surveys and institutions that proved land ownership to europeans <laughs> removal was supposed to be a smooth and benevolent process indians would be clothed fed and paid instead it was a mess mm -hmm. 